What's up, guys? Um, my my hair's like poking out here. I was gonna film a video of doing the tranny, um, the clutch in the Lancer, but I never got around to it because it's working on a car and it's like impossible to try and film and do it all by yourself. But I finally got it out after like three days. Uh, Fighting the weather, you know, minus like 20. It's kind of hard to work out here. But I finally got that bitch out. Clutch is there, about to pull the clutch off. So I figured I would bring you guys along for that. Here's my hat. So my subframe is pretty fucked. It's uh pretty rusted. It's, uh, I do say so myself. Um, so I'm going to go to the scrapyard next week. And if I can find a decent subframe. I may pull it if it's nice enough outside. But if it's not, then I'll probably just say fuck it. And just kind of run this one. But I think I'm going to do a couple plates on it. Just to uh, help it. Because... There's a couple spots that are, uh, well, very fucking questionable. But you got a lot of access to shit now. You can actually get up into the exhaust here. So I think I might do the turbo on it because it's like some cobbled together crap there. So I can actually fix a bunch of shit. It's recording, right? Fuck, I don't know. Sometimes with this thing, I'm like, is it recording? Is it not? But, yeah. So, like I was saying, gonna do a couple patches on probably this subframe if I can't find a decent one. Um, I need new tie rod ends. Um, I might do these, this ball joint because it's shot. Even though it's brand new, there's a rip in the boot. So, it's kind of kind of shot. Um, but other than that, everything looks pretty decent. It honestly wasn't that hard. It was just trying to fucking deal with the occasional stuck bolt in the worst fucking possible spot. Like, I had one at the top back here that was stuck, and then I had one on the rear mount back in there, which was stuck. But after that, I pulled it. I didn't even have to drop the subframe at all. I kept it in. Um... I just kind of support the motor with a uh, ratchet strap and a piece of wood up top and a jack underneath. Which reminds me, I'm actually just going to a little bit more so it's not fucking hanging there. Okay, let me move this shit out of the way. And let's pull this fucking clutch off. So I'll get you guys in. Pretty sure they're twelves. I can just like sit right in there. I can just sit in here, motherfucker. Uh, I'm wondering what this clutch is gonna look like. Pretty sure it's the OEM one. I can start at the feeling, feel it slip. And I know I plan on doing the turbo in the near future, so why not upgrade to it? Uh, I'm doing a Clutch Master Stage 2, I think. I haven't decided exactly if I want a Stage 2 or a Stage 3 yet. I'm thinking Stage 2 should be more than enough, but I'm only looking to run like, a, like 12 pounds and... With all the room, I might, might do my own custom setup, but it's so cold trying to work out here. But no heater, if I can get a heater out here, I think I can do it. Wait for my clutch to come in, just kind of 
you know, work on the fucking little things, get all the little things, get all the parts, and just do everything all at once. That way I'm not fucking, like, oh no, I should have done the clutch, I should have done that when I had the transmission out. I let the transmission out. Realistically, I could drop this whole motor. There's only one more motor mount holding it in on the other side. I could pull all the wires and drop the whole fucking motor. Do what I really want to do and build it and shit, but I don't got the money for that. So, new clutch. And, yeah. Should be pretty decent. Alright, I'm gonna move you guys. Yeah, I'm very curious to see what this clutch looks like. Because when I first bought this car, I could tell the clutch was slipping. And then it kind of like fixed itself in a sense. But the other day I was driving it and I noticed it's kind of slipping, and kind of skipping and hopping. So I figured I'd tear this out, replace all the mounts. I'm going to do all the motor mounts. You know, I'm just going to basically clean everything up. Clean it up a bit, you know. Do what I can. Let's see. One more. I'm gonna take this off and inspect our clutch. Our crutchy clutchy. Clutchy clutchy clutchy. Yeah, I actually just kind of yanked the transmission up myself. Once I got that rear round off, I just kind of leveled out the top part of the motor and yanked it. Um, hello? Oh, I think there's some sort of like thing. I don't know. Go! Oh! Oh! Yeah. Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, I definitely needed a clutch, guys. I don't know if you can. See all the, all those shiny spots are heat marks, I'm pretty sure. I don't feel too many ridges, oh, kind of. But yeah, we're definitely gonna have to get this resurfaced or buy a new one. But this clutch is smoked, I don't. Is this, I don't think this is an OEM clutch. I'm not sure, but you guys tell me if anyone knows. Oh, yeah, no, it is. It says Mitsubishi on it. It was purple at one point, I think. But that clutch is fucking beyond clapped. It's starting to crack right here. Right, right, right there. Yeah. I don't know how this, honestly, I don't know how this clutch was surviving. I was driving this pretty hard, but I could tell towards the end there that it was on its way out, like. Look how look at all the heat spots on this. Clapped. Nothing was 
yeah, that clutch was fucked. She's, she's fucked. She's fucked. Like, and that's a big crack in it. Like, there's a huge crack. Oh, fuck. <laughs> so like right, right here, it's like there's a chunk missing, and like, it's just about to come apart. <laughs> like basically, I caught that just when it needed to be, to be caught. I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna, just gonna see. This is my get a bit of stand here. Make sure cars are safe. All right. Well, car safe. Clutch is out. I'll have to pull the flywheel next, and then probably work on the exhaust while I wait for clutch and flywheel to get done. Um, wait for the clutch to come. And yeah, other than that, it's gonna be pretty much it. I will film the reinstall for everyone. So look to look look for that. But as for now, I'll talk to you guys later.